Oh, hi, I'm Chuffley, and this is Chuffley's Kitchen. Last time I talked about how even if you think you can't cook, you can really, because there's so much instant crap available in supermarkets. You just boil a kettle and you're away. Now that's true, and you can live a long and healthy life like that, actually. You probably need some vitamins and fiber as well. But forgetting all that, if you get bored, when you get bored of an instant only lifestyle, toasting is the way to go. Now, if you thought instant stuff was easy, toasting stuff is pretty easy too. First thing you need to know about toasting is if you just go and launch a load of butter, fat or disgusting stuff straight onto your toast, it will go all soggy and nasty and start to bead up under the knife. Make a little tent, a toasty tent, and you'll find that it continues to steam off and you'll end up with very much crunchier, lovelier toast. But of course it's not just toast. It could also be Crumpets. I'm defeated. These lovely wobbly baked good things are the cornerstone of the of the British Empire. In they go. Now crumpets, you yeah, really have to toast them about three times. Or have your toaster on max. See, after after one after one toasting, I mean they're warm, but they're well, they're hot even, but they're not they haven't got their crunch. Three toasts later, and we have ha 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 ha. And just like normal toast, make a tent, let it crisp, let it crisp. Now would you look at that? Would you look at those crumpets? Oh, there's a little bit in the shadow there. Everybody knows that you've, ha you've got enough butter on your crumpet when it bleeds through to the bottom. Until then, you're just selling yourself short. Is it yet? Not yet. I'll keep loading it on. More butter! Oh, there, there it is. I don't even know if you can see this on the camera, but it has entirely saturated the crumpet. Mmm, let's invade somewhere. Now, toast and tea cakes and bagels and crumpets all wholesome members of the toasted breakfast fare. But they have a secret relative, one they don't like to talk about. Not in polite company. Bit of an embarrassment to the family. She's the Pop-Tart. These are, to be fair, an absolute abomination. Wrapped for space, so that you can fire them into the sun. Now look at this. That's like a, oh, yeah, see, yeah. That's some sort of sugary splat over a, um, a bourbon-y looking like cake thing. And I think there might even be a, a jam, a jam type thing. I don't know, Let's see what they come up with. People that work studying volcanoes use very 
specialized equipment, uh, including thermometers. And uh, it's very difficult to measure the temperature of the magma inside the chambers of a volcano. And they need to calibrate that with something even hotter still. So they quite often use the insides of a Pop-Tart. Mmm, uh, ah, that really, oh, molten sugar, who thought that might hurt? Okay, lovely, quality product. I'm sorry, Russell, I'll never do it again. Now let's have a, let's have a real look at this. So, um, I don't know, are you supposed to, I think you're supposed to let them, oh, Jesus. That is literally just molten sugar. So, um, these are Pop-Tarts, and I don't know if you're supposed to pick them up and eat them like toast, uh, but they are quite flat, making them easy to slide directly into the bin. Are they made, oh, they're made by Kellogg's. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts, worth every morsel of ridicule that they receive. An absolute hateful way to have a breakfast. Well, that's what I've got to say about toasting stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, do click all the things and uh, like my smash button. And uh, perhaps I'll see you on the next one.